Hey. Watch it. Watch, watch up. Two thousand eight, guys. We gotta go. Yeah. Uh, this game takes place in the beautiful age of uh, economic collapse. The stock market. You guys remember when that the how when when the markets crashed? Oh hell yeah! Hell yes, man. Nothing like the good old days. Nothing like the good old days. Except this time, this game takes place in Brazil. Two thousand and eight economic collapse in Brazil. Brazil? It's fine. It's fine. We're going to be fine. So I'm a little late. I had to, uh, listen. All right. Here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. I used one of those apps that you like say when you're going to sleep and then it's gonna be like, hey, so this is how, this is when you should wake up if you wanna get like multiple REM cycles in and you don't wanna wake up at this time you're gonna be fucked. I followed it to the dot and I'll tell you what, it fucked me hard. I got owned by it actually. I actually, I, I actually got owned. He plays Pokemon Sleep. No, I have some, dude, I like opened my phone. I didn't even mean to like use this today. But, like, I opened my phone, and I just have, like, an app called Sleep Time. I don't know what the f how long I've had that. It's just, like, it's just called Sleep Time. I tried to tell it my sleep time, and it fucked me. I don't know how it got installed. I don't know who put that on my, my freaking phone. First and last time, I do that. First and only time that happens to me. It wanted me to sleep for seven hours and 45 minutes. Rather than my usually scheduled seven hours. I gave my, I slept for another 45 minutes in order to give this a chance to prove itself to me. And now I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give them a one star App Store review. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give them a one star App Store review. There's really nothing else I, I can do. Also, I like went on like Daggerfall for a little bit to like take a look around at like uh, the save. Because <clears throat> I might do another session. Dude, I had typhoid. <laughs> Guys! I had typhoid. Where did I get typhoid? Thought I just had a, I thought I just had a tummy ache. Turns out my character had typhoid. And the stomach rot. Which is way different than food poisoning. I had typhoid stomach rot. Also, also. And I only found this out after, and I have no idea why this is the case. The katana I stopped streaming with just doesn't hit. And I mean that genuinely. As in, for some reason, it's bugged. Because I tested it, and then I tested another weapon on the same enemy that was worse. Like, I tested, like, a greatsword on an enemy, and it hit them immediately. Like, multiple times. Like, not just like a, oh, one in a million chance it hits it. Okay, whatever. Like... For some reason, that katana was bugged. Don't the katana wear out? What? Are you about to tell me that my Nippon steel was dull? 
in my 1996 game? It said, it said brand new. No, 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 no. I know about fucking durability. The durability said brand new. No. In 1996. <laughs> Dude, I, listen. I fixed it. My character works again, okay? Fuck! I don't know why that happened. I really don't know why that one weapon was busted. But I guess that, like, shows that I should always keep my weapon that works just in case the other one stops working or doesn't work and I find out later. Because, whoopsie! Whoops! That would have been bad. Don't the great sword wear out. Now you're just trolling. The streamer has now discovered holdout weapons. Dude, my guy can barely carry like fucking two pounds of actual gear because of how heavy all of my camping equipment was. You think I have time to carry a fucking claymore with me? I literally didn't. I didn't have the time. Doug kinda sucks, TBH. Doug has heart. Okay, which is more than I can say for the lot of ya. Doug has etiquette. More than I can say for the lot of ya. More than I can say for the lot of ya. I'm a language man, aren't we all? To some extent, I'm an etiquette man and a streetwise man. Okay? And I minor in impish. But yeah. We'll probably do another session. It's just like, I, I honestly would have done it today if I hadn't had to spend like fucking like 30 minutes trying to figure out why the fuck my weapon wasn't doing damage. Cause I literally like got back on cause the save was like at the zombie that I stopped at. I never quick saved when I went back to the other town. And I was like, I'm gonna figure out if I could actually kill this thing without commands. And like, so I just turned on God mode and just swung at the zombie for like five minutes and never hit them. So something was up. Something was wrong. Skill issue. Nah, because the second I switched to like another identical long blade, it worked. So I don't know what's wrong with the katana I had. But it wasn't anything else. And I know that because I solved it by switching weapons and the bed had nothing to do with it. <laughs> the bed had nothing to do with it. Nor, nor did the door. Was it cursed? You got... I understand it's an old game, and thus it both has a million, million extra lines of code of content that no one could possibly comprehend, and also is the most simple game ever created by man. But no, I do not believe it was cursed. I do not believe that there is secret code that makes it cursed, and therefore it's why it wasn't doing any damage, even though none of us could actually, like, discern that information at a glance. I think in this con- in this case, it makes more sense that it was, in fact, bugged. Did you bless it before each fight? Dude, bro, I barely even, like, use my spells in goddamn Baldur's Gate. Dude, they need a higher difficulty for freaks like me, I swear to God. <laughs> I, 
I literally have not had to use a single buff on my characters all game on the hardest difficulty. Like, I genuinely almost, like, if it wasn't for the story and me being compelled by the story to keep playing, I'd be like, I'm going to wait until mods make it harder at this point. Like, I swear, like, I really like Baldur's Gate. It's too easy for me. It's just too easy. Especially considering, I would argue Divinity 2 was tough as nails. Especially with mods. Divinity 2 was tough as nails. Like, that game kicked your fucking ass. You didn't do everything right. Is it just me? I've been struggling with the combat. I mean, I could, like, switch off of meta bullshit, probably, and have a harder time. Like, I've got a paladin, which obviously makes things easier. But, I mean, I have never played a Paladin in 5e other than one that tragically died at level 1, so I genuinely was just like, I want to play a Paladin because I've never played one. Like, there's only a couple classes I haven't played in a 5e setting. I went rogue and every encounter feels like a death sentence. I mean, my next character, if I when I when I play through the game again, is gonna be a monk. Are you oath broken? No, actually, somehow no. I've been playing Dark Urge, Oath of Vengeance Paladin. And honestly, dude, as much as I miss not having my barbarian berserker responses where I just scream at people the whole time, Oath of Vengeance just kind of fucking got some good stuff to say to people. Got some good stuff to say. I've talked, I've scared people so bad, they've killed themselves. Oath of Vengeance is the strongest paladin subclass by far. I mean, one, you don't have to tell me, but also, two, I haven't used one of my fucking oath moves in combat once since I switched to them. I, I haven't used Vow of Enmity once. I kill everything within a turn and a turn and a half anyway, so why would having advantage when I'm already giving myself advantage from 18 other sources even matter? So far, my subclass has had no value to me other than for voice options, like, d like dialogue. I mean, they even made Paladin weaker in this. And I, like, I, I, I genuinely mean that. Paladin is not as strong in this game as it is in base D&D specifically because you have to use your reaction in this game to apply Divine Smite after a hit. Like, they nerfed Paladin, and they still feel broken. No free actions? You get infinite reactions, though. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think that's how 5e works, and I haven't noticed myself having infinite reactions. But yeah. I don't know. I don't, like, I'll probably switch off of Paladin and switch to something else again after a little while, just because it's like... Dude, there's no harder difficulty. I've even done things to try to make the game harder for myself, like turn off the weighted dice mechanic that comes default that I didn't even know existed until like two days ago. That like makes it so you can never fail or succeed too many times. I thought maybe that would like make it more difficult for me because I'd roll like shit more often and it like didn't change anything. I'm actually doing better. <laughs> 
Karmic Dice makes it harder, actually. It didn't- I didn't feel any difference in difficulty turning it off or on, and I turned it off, like, midway through Act 2, when I was already, like, level 7. Is it worth it to turn it on? I think it's worth leaving it off the whole time, honestly. Look, man, I don't trust... Listen, I don't really, frankly, trust any game to tell me that it's using RNG to decide my damage and the damage I receive, and then also tell me in the same fucking breath that it's giving me breaks and also giving the enemies breaks sometimes when they miss. No, dude, now I don't trust you. Now I don't trust you. It's like, it's like if a DM went on record with you in a game of 5e and was like, Yeah, I got close last fight. Uh, one of the enemies hit you with a crit, and it actually would have fucking instantly killed your character, so I decided to, like, not have that happen, because I felt like you had already been owned enough. I would have been like, well, now how can I trust you with anything you say, if you're willing to pull that punch now, of all times? The thing is, you can't tell them. <laughs> you can't tell them. It's okay to do it. I mean, I don't, I don't really necessarily agree with it, but I'm sure it's happened and does happen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you can't tell them. If you tell them, then they know, and then nothing ever matters again. If Gary Gygax had an inch of common sense, he would have implemented Karmic Dice IRL. No, dude. I'll tell you why. Because while, yeah, rolling three nat ones in a row is the worst feeling in the world. Rolling three nat 20s in, the ro in a row, which I've seen and had happen to me, is one of the fastest and most powerful dopamine hits you'll ever receive in your life. All right? And if someone, if I were to roll a second net 20, and then my DM were to say, I'm afraid that's not possible. This is not going to crit because you just crit. I would, um, i die inside. i die. I have Karmic Dice on, and I have rolled three nat ones in Baldur's Gate 3. Do you mean in a row or in general? Because those are super different things. <laughs> those are, uh... In a row. Well, uh, it looks like, uh, RNG just fucking hates you so bad that no amount of karma wants to come near you. You should probably look into that. You should probably, like, consult that. Still issue, dude. Sorry, bro. Your karmic balance is whack. Yeah, you gotta get some chakra balance going on to fix that, dude. I recommend a salt lamp. You gotta get your chakras realigned. You got chakras in your ass right now. You gotta move them back to the spots in their body that they're supposed to be. You need a salt lamp. You gotta get yourself some shungite, dude, and some amethyst now.
Your key is all out of whack, dude. Sprinkle some sage in the hallway. Nah, dude, the only thing I sprinkle anywhere in hallways is salt, so I can keep all the fucking ghosts out. Do you think I have time for that shit? I keep all the ghosts and demons at bay by leaving lines of salt everywhere. And snails! God forbid the snails get in! God forbid the snails get in! The giant African snails! Dude, I swear. You gotta watch out. Freaking invasive as hell. I shiggy diggy de wop. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you can get to the Pacific Northwest, you'd see banana slugs. Yeah, but I don't want to see them. Who said I want to? Maybe I don't... Maybe I don't want to go near them. Also... Madagascar eye crickets. What? What? I looked that up, it didn't come up with anything. That person just yelled some insane psycho line and it doesn't exist. I looked up eye crickets, I didn't get anything. That's not real. We should ban that guy? We- we should ban that guy! Wait a minute, yeah! From now on, when people say things that don't exist, we should ban them! We should punish them for it! Forever! We will no longer allow that kind of behavior in this chat! I swear to God! Come on back to reality, all right? That guy was just headshot level. <sighs> Chad, I shit you not, as soon as I ended the stream yesterday, ESET was like, all right, you've had your fun. Well, not yesterday, but when I played Dark and Darker and immediately deleted the entire executable from my PC. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, no parole, gone. <laughs> the second I turned off stream, it was like, fun's over! <laughs> and shut it down completely. Damn. So now it's like, fuck, if I want to play it again, I have to re-download it, and that's like kept me from playing it again. <laughs> Like, it didn't download the actual game, it deleted the uh, it didn't delete the whole game, it deleted the launcher. Like, the blacksmith launcher. So I have to, like, grab the launcher again to play it, and I'm just like, ugh. What a mess. And turn off Isha. Things just keep getting dark and darker, dude. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Sheesh. Sheesh, dude. Banish him to the Dark Realm now? No, I think we banish him to the Rhyme Dimension! <laughs> 
Rhyme! Rhyme! I'm gonna need you to rhyme now. When Baldur's Gate 3? Never. Until it's some until it like happens at some point. I don't know, dude. I'm not gonna stream it anytime soon. Ever. It's eons away, man. It's eons away. So fucking leave me alone. That's a I play and then die stream. Is that what we call those now? The ones where I be, I play some permadeath bullshit and I play it and then I die and then it ends? We used to call those permadeath. We, back in my day, we used to call those permadeath streams. Dude, I mean, honestly, here's the issue with Baldur's Gate, the more I've played it as well. Holy crap, I don't feel, like, I don't, ki I kind of don't fucking feel like playing, like, level one through five. <laughs> it's kind of like real D&D. Like, I mean, look, without immense stakes early game, level one through five in D&D is some of the most boring shit ever, at least as far as combat is concerned. It just is. It just is. Three to six is some of the most fun shit ever. What are you smoking? Spoken truly like someone who hasn't played at level nine to 10. feeling some deja vu somehow we've had this exact conversation or at least parts of it but um anyone that says anything other than 8 to 12 being the ideal level for DD maybe 8 to 11 is uh is wrong i i'm sorry you're wrong you've lost your mind anything prior to you getting a hold of feats and extra attack for martial characters is, um, well, boring, slow, you don't have very interesting spells, you have no actual means by which to defend yourself from anything. Level one gameplay, I swing my sword, I miss, I end my turn. And that extends all the way to like level three, at least, for the most part. What's your opinion matter? You only ever play Paladin? What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> huh? No, no, good sir. <laughs> good sir, no, no. We don't have to listen to him, dude. What's he going to do? Bless us. Okay, I retract my heresy. I find three to six fun. Three to six is fun. Like no one's gonna deny. I would say D and D combat is tear, like tearing your hair out until at least level three. Like you don't have subclasses. Half the characters don't exist yet. Uh, literally, uh, three to six is fun, but eight to twelve is the most fun. Uh, after that, it goes off the rails. Yes, 
After 12, if you don't have a DM that's homebrewing every single encounter for you very carefully and being completely miserable as a result of doing that, uh, you're not gonna have fun uh, because uh, nothing's balanced after level 12. <laughs> Literally nothing. You can't, uh, you can't play. Joe wasn't that miserable. Oh, yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he was. Dude. Not only just on the balance side, but on the watching. I could watch the light fade from his fucking eyes. The moment we circumvented every mechanic of a fight, he spent probably hours balancing by some bullshit. If I said I cast Mirage Arcane, a little wisp of his soul would escape his fucking nose and die. Wizard or Warlock, which is better? Wizard is the strongest class in D&D, &D, and anyone that says it isn't uh, doesn't know that uh, Wizards of the Coast has a literal crush on wizards and will never, ever, ever, ever allow a class to be more powerful than a wizard. Ever! Ever! <laughs> you want to play the strongest class in D&D, &D, you pick wizard. I don't know, Warlock seems a bit more badass. I actually think Warlock is like, okay, 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 okay. It's a lot easier to talk about 5e now that everyone's playing Baldur's Gate and therefore no longer has an excuse for not having some context to how D&D &D works anymore. Uh, Warlock is fun. I actually, the bomb was my first time playing Warlock. Um, however, Still nowhere near as powerful as a wizard. Uh, a wizard at the same level as the bomb could fucking absolutely thresh everything in the fucking game. Are you kidding me? But wa Warlock is more interesting to me because there's like short rest. Like, I don't know. There's just something about Warlock that's like more like interesting. There's more like flavor to it. I really like the, the dynamic of a Warlock. But, I mean, come on, chat. Wizard is wizard. You get a million fucking spells. You get a million more on top of it. You can cast an insane amount of shit. Your sub Half the subclasses are fucking beans, but it doesn't matter because a wizard, even without a subclass, is stronger than any class with a subclass. <laughs> okay, that's, that's just what they are. They have the strongest fucking spells. Their spells are cracked. Warlock. Yeah, Warlock. Look, if I had to grade and score based off of what looks like fun rather than just what I've played for D&D, what looks like fun from what I've seen, etc. Most fun class in D&D looks like Warlock. There's just something about it to me. Warlock just seems like so much fun. Followed by Paladin, followed by Wizard. There's a reason people go Warlock Paladin. I don't know. Something about it is just deeply, deeply fun looking to me. So how low is Fighter? I've never once thought about doing a full Fighter ever in my life. Other than the Echo Knight, I almost did for the bomb. That would have been a full Fighter mixed with Barbarian. Actually, yeah, that wouldn't even have been full fighter. I would have just dipped for the Echo Knight part and then gone Barbarian for the rest. Uh, Eldritch Knight can be entertaining. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Every time someone brings up Eldritch Knight, I have to tell them this. I have to make it clear. You could play a Bladesinger Wizard, have 900 times more utility and be just as tanky and only be missing a little bit of health in the grand scheme. 
Like that's like Eldritch Knight in a post Blade Singer existence version of 5e is as far as I'm concerned useless. <laughs> what? It, it, it's just there's better fighter subclasses to play at this point. There just are. How are people sleeping on Cleric, bro? I think Cleric's kind of boring. Here's the thing. I, there's some Clerics that seem really cool, like Tempest. That's what I'm currently using in uh, Baldur's Gate. I'm using a Tempest Cleric, or like the, the Storm Cleric. Uh, which I think is pretty okay. I think the Storm one, I, I've been liking playing the Storm one now. Uh, Twilight, I actually, to be fair, almost did a Twilight one for uh, Mistletoe. If we hadn't had a Cleric in Mistletoe, uh, Willoughby would have been a Twilight Stars Druid. I was going to do both. But I, I decided against it because we had a cleric. But look, it's just... Here's the thing. Unless it's... The only one of these that gets, like, an exemption for this is a wizard because of how crazy their fucking spell list is. But for some reason, cleric has a million fucking subclasses and all of them are more boring than the last until you get to, like, order cleric and, like, twilight cleric. Like, it's got a million fucking subclasses and all of them are boring. And here's the thing, and this burns me on every fucking cleric subclass, is seeing that they all have, like, most of them have the exact same, like, level 11 thing, which is, oh, your attacks hit harder. Who fucking cares? Why is that in my subclass feature? If every subclass has it, make it a class feature. Stop, don't waste an entire thing of my fucking class, like, skill, like, curve with something everyone's getting. Why put that in my subclass? It's boring. There's like shit like that just makes me not care about Cleric. You know? Can we get a comment on the Monk? The only value of Monk is to stress out your DM once you get to level 6 and you start spamming Stunning Strike on every single boss they make. Your job as Monk is to survive until level 6 and then ruin the DM's entire week by rolling fucking consistent cons- You know, it's actually like doubly fucked up because Stunning Strike forces the DM to roll it before they get owned. It's the only value of them. Honestly, that's the thing that makes me not want to play Monk so much in, like, real D&D, like, on tabletop. It's just because it's so boring, dude. Like, a DM has to work overtime to give monks fun things to do in a fight. They really do. Like, the DM has to do work to give monks flavor options so they're not just twiddling their thumbs because at the end of the day... You have to design an entire fucking map around the speed of a monk, especially late game, and it's fucking... It's not possible because everyone else is too slow. So you can't design a fight that complements a monk without ruining it for everyone else. You know? <laughs> so monks are just stunlock fishers, and nothing matters for them other than that. Melee class is a lot of making the same attack forever. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing. is Most of the time when you're signing up to play a melee class, you're signing up for a more simplified version of the game. That applies to Baldur's Gate, and that applies to real D&D. You feel like a badass. You're doing most of the damage. But you are signing up for a more simple version of D&D. You know, strategically rages. <laughs> Let me think about this. 
wouldn't it be the best time for me to use my first of three rage charges in this boss fight? Should I do it at the beginning of the fight, or should I wait one turn? Best character is to just put one level in all classes. <laughs> to be fair, Warlock mains are just Eldritch Blast. I mean, yeah, Warlocks are secretly uh, just like Archer. Like, they're basically archers, like martial characters. They're essentially a ranger. Warlocks and rangers are basically the same thing. If you squint hard enough, you'll see they're the same class. <laughs> if you squint really carefully, you'll see that warlocks are just charisma rangers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? What the? Arcane Archer got done so dirty. Yeah. I forget Arcane Archer exists. Yeah. We don't talk about them. I almost played one in Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Willoughby was originally going to be a Arcane Archer Horizon Walker Ranger. That was what I was going to be initially. And then I switched to Stars Druid because it was just better. <laughs> then both of those combined. Is there a subclass you want added to Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, hmm. Let me think. Because there is a pretty good spread of classes right now. Uh, Bladesinger, nah. Actually... No. Don't think Wizard needs that right now. Hexblade? Nah, no, Hexblade's essentially in aside from the fucking crit bonus. They they basically, with how they did Pact of the Blade, Hexblade already exists. Minus, you know, having to commit a subclass to it. I think, uh... Astral Self Monk. Because uh, the monk subclass options right now, the only one that's any appeal to me at all is the shadow monk. Specifically because open hand, the only root look, the only reason you play open hand is because you cross your fingers that maybe somehow in some like fucking all, like in some strange timeline that you'll never actually be in. Somehow you'll get to max level and get to quivering palm someone. Okay. That's the only reason people play open hand monk. Is because you hope maybe, just maybe, your DM will let you get to max level and you can quivering palm someone and explode their heart in one punch. Okay? It never happens. It never happens. No one on earth has ever used the, the, uh, the final move of the open hand monk. It's never happened. It doesn't exist. One guy did. The enemy was immune. If you actually watched a player in a game you were in use Quivering Palm and then the DM said, that guy's immune to Quivering Palm, everyone should have stood up from the table, grabbed that fucking DM and thrown him down a well. Like, that's a throw them down a well moment, dude. What? You got to the max level just so I could stop you at the last second. 
Holy shit, bad DM. Dude, the moment I, if I was DMing and I knew my fucking monk got to max level, I'd be like, I have to make sure that it's possible for them to use their cool move. They have to be able to use this cool move. They, the, the, nothing else they've done has been of any value up until now. They have to use the cool move. They must. What else was the point of them doing all of this? Yeah. Dude, I can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3 to not exist anymore so I don't feel as compelled to talk about D&D &D every stream. But it's been really easy because everyone's suddenly way more informed and they're not all calling me a dweeb. Do you hate it? No. 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 No, no, no. He hates Baldur's Gate 3! I don't hate Baldur's Gate. I haven't had much time to play it, though. I'm, not, I'm, I'm still chipping away. You think it'll win Game of the Year? I don't care at all about Game of the Years, and I don't even know who or where it's winning a Game of the Year from. Okay, and besides, if you're about to say the Game Awards, uh, Outer Wilds didn't get Game of the Year when it came out, and therefore the Game Awards is a sh fucking scam, okay? Uh, I don't care what anyone says. I haven't watched it since. Uh, they didn't give Outer Wilds Game of the Year, and they gave it to, like, Deathloop or some shit, and that means it's a scam. Okay, that's all I need to- You don't need to tell me much more other than that for me to know it's a scam. Give me a break. Give me a fucking break! He hates Deathloop. I just don't care about Deathloop. Raise your hand if you remember anything that happened in Deathloop, other than the death looping. Exactly. Exactly. We fucking hate video games. None of us like it. I remember all the bosses. What the hell do you mean all the bosses? <laughs> but there weren't any of those. Huh? Wait. What? There weren't. There was like the named NPCs and they died just as easily as a normal NPC dies when you shoot them in the head. I didn't play Deathloop! Wait a minute! Imagine if Arcane just made Prey 2 instead of a bunch of shit games. Okay, now we're getting- now we're getting into the spicy, angry territory. Imagine if Arcane just stopped being a piece of shit and made the good one again. I'm mad. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I get it. True. Devs, guys, guys, everyone listen. I'm about to say something. I think devs should make good games instead of bad ones. Now.
I'm going to say it because I know we're all thinking it. Redfall deserves a sequel. I agree. Chat, I'm not exaggerating when I say up until the exact moment that that chat member said that message, I thought the last game Arcane made was Deathloop. I thought the last game they made was Deathloop. Y'all want to play? Y'all want to play Redfall? Who wants to play Redfall, bro? Redfall reminds me of that shitty Left 4 Dead 2 successor I can't remember the name of. Evolve. Wait, no, Back for Blood. Evolve was the cool one that they just fumbled the ball with really bad. Back for Blood. Evolve was the cool one that I both clocked when I played it at launch, was cool, but then proceeded to never play again, which means it was also bad. <laughs> which means in hindsight, it must have also sucked, or I would have played it. Sometimes you just can't explain why you never play a game again other than it must have sucked, ultimately. Tomato, interesting fact, only a handful of Valve people made Evolve and Back for Blood. False advertisement, LMAO. Do you know the amount of times some fucking movie or something is like, From the minds that made this critically acclaimed masterpiece. And then it's like the fucking like intern that was like there giving like drinks out. Like that, that's normal. Yeah, the dude who worked. <laughs> yeah, the, the guy who picked the set. The, uh, the guy who, uh, put the down payment down on the warehouse we filmed the movie in is, uh, working on this one, too. So we're allowed. We're allowed to. We're allowed to say from the mines. <laughs> from the key grip that brought you Titanic. From the boom mic operator. Of the Titanic. <laughs> from craft services who worked on Avengers. Yo, dude. Same director's chair, baby. The same director's chair was used both, both on the Titanic and this movie. James Cameron might as well be in the room. The ass print on the director's chair from James Cameron is still present now. James Cameron's fetid stench lingers. Fetid is one of those terrible words, isn't it? Fetid is one of those awful ones, isn't it? Like one of those words that we shouldn't be allowed to say. Right? Right? 
It's like a... It's like one of the bad ones. A power word. It's a potent word of power. Yes, I was about to say. A potent word of power. Like to mess it. You literally said quivering earlier. It's the name of the move. And also, it's and also it's a level 19 or some shit super martial arts move at the end of D&D. &D. Therefore, objectively, a word of power. 17. All right, you guys outed yourselves as much larger nerds than me just then. Holy crap. Can we get a mod note on anyone who actually said the right level? Because I, like, felt like I knew it, but I didn't really want to get too specific. I didn't want to think about it too hard because I thought thinking about it would make me a dweeb. And then, like, a bunch of people put out the actual number. Holy. It's called Google Tomato. Doesn't matter. It don't matter. Place the brand of shame upon them. Scorned monk mains. Yeah, I guess anyone that's played monk would have it perfectly memorized when they unlock literally anything to do with their class. You got nothing else to do. Oh! <laughs> yeah, how about you stunning strike again, Bozo, okay? How about you go ahead and tell the DM you're gonna stunning strike? But, but I don't have to wear armor. Whenever any game ever is like, and this matters more for like Baldur's Gate than it does for normal D&D. That's like saying, I don't have to care about loot or any fun, unique things that might change my character in any way is basically what you don't have to wear armor really means. It says you don't have to care about any of the cool customization from the video game now. Isn't that fun? You get nothing. Fuck you. There's a lot of magic clothes, though. Still not as compelling as what someone would do in a normal 5e tabletop. At least in my experience. I wouldn't play no unarmored character without having like a tabletop DM to homebrew stuff. I wouldn't do it. I can't. I can't. I disagree. What you gonna do about it? Mods? Show them what we're gonna do about it, please. What's that guy thinking? <laughs> Disagree with me. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? If you lost your mind. You must have thought this place was a place for opinions. Dark Urge. Sure, sometimes I have the undeniable urge to just punish someone in the chat for some bullshit, but that's not, that's not a dark urge. That's a reasonable response. Echo Chamber Tomato Arc. Man, you guys are not a very good echo chamber, though. Like, if that's what we're talking about here, you guys are pretty bad at that. I'm not so sure about that one. Lots of, lots of really bad acoustics in the uh, echo chamber. Uh, sometimes, sometimes when I toss an echo out into the distance of the echo chamber, it comes back with a lot of really mean cusses, which is not how echoes work at all, actually. <laughs> so, something's wrong with the acoustic. Grinch Echo. 
Damn, man, I haven't seen the live-action Grinch movie in a long time, bro. Holy heck. Why not? No time. No time. Cat in the Hat was better. All right, so we some can everyone sit down for a second? We sometimes make like silly jokes and we say things that we don't mean because we think it's gonna get a rise out of someone else. Hang on, I need to. <clears throat> sometimes we say things we don't mean and I think what that chat member was trying to do is get a rise out of us for like a funny little joke, but I don't want them to get, because I'm worried people are gonna get really upset and get like mad, but I'm gonna speak for them on their behalf. And I think it might have just been a silly little joke they were just saying to try to get a rise out of people. They don't actually mean it. They don't actually mean it. We should let it go. Okay, we should we we should let it go. I think we all agree right now we let it go. Yeah? Okay. All right. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Chat member that you'd say that? Yeah, uh, we all like the Grinch here. Though. Stop tripling down. What was that? Hang on. <clears throat> I meant it. I'll triple down on this. I wish you could hear me audibly gulp when you said that. Oh, they tripled down, chat. They tripled down on saying that, um, that the Cat in the Hat movie was better than the Grinch. Uh, live action. Hey. Hey. Hey, what? No, 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 no. Actually eating drywall. Dude, you gotta spit that drywall out of your mouth. It's not good for you. That's like poison. You can't, don't eat that. Spit that out. Hey, don't, don't tell. Chad, if you're going to eat drywall, you shouldn't talk about your opinions while you do it. You just shouldn't. You should keep it out of your mouth. Drop it. Holy heck. Should I play Deathloop right now? Chat, you maybe. Hey, chat, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Think about it like this. <clears throat> maybe you'll find out you have terrible taste and love it. And that's cool. That's good. You're a rat. Thanks for the 20 gifted subs. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I'm just telling you how it is. Maybe you'll find out you love Deathloop because you also like coincidentally have terrible taste. And then that simplifies a lot of things for you. You can grab a ton of trash and play it and enjoy it after that. Wouldn't that be nice? He's so mean today. What the fuck? I mean, you play Chilla games. Ironically, okay, that chat member didn't say, do you mind if, do you think I should play Deathloop ironically? And to that, I'd say, no, you shouldn't. It's a full price game. Dude, everything I do, I do ironically, bro. Everything. <laughs> everything I do, dude, it's ironic. Sleep time really fucked you up. No, 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 Chad. Everything I do, it's ironic. I'm being, I, I, I'm being ironic. Your Honor, I was being ironic. Like how you like Neil Breen. 
Don't you dare talk shit about Neil Breen again in this chat unless you want to catch these hands in Minecraft. Do you understand me? All right. <laughs> all right, you got it. We got a lot of Breeniacs in this chat, all right? We got a lot of eyes on Breen in here, and if you're gonna talk shit about Breen, you're gonna be catching a you you're gonna be catching a lot of swings from left and right. Bop, bop, bop. In Minecraft. In Minecraft doesn't work anymore, Tomato. Someone got arrested. In Apex Legends. Close one. We got there. All right, Chad, I'm going to go bathroom and then we're going to go do some supermarket work in Brazil. Get excited. Eight. The economic collapse. Brazil. What the heck's even going on in there right now? Let's find out. This is a horror game, apparently. Although the horror tag is like fucking like three tags down, so it's uh nine to five mundane convenience store horror one of my favorite brands one of my favorite subgenres is where the spooky part is that i work a nine to five in retail damn that is some crunchy music hang on i'm just gonna do some setup quick looking good okay All right. New game. Desde setembro não se fala em outra coisa. As turbulências que vinham desde o estouro da bolha do mercado americano ganharam força no dia 15 de setembro, depois que o banco americano Lehman Brothers quebrou. A notícia caiu como uma ducha de água fria sobre os investidores e a reação nas bolsas do mundo todo foi a mesma. Recordes históricos de baixa. Historical cuts in design. Did you see on television they're talking about the crisis again? Do you think it will affect us? What if it affected us? Hey, can I have some of what you just smoked? Huh? Wait, what? Of course it won't affect us. Here in Terminal 81, we already have enough problems. Of course, none of this would have... First, the disappearances occurred, then the mayor was removed from office. We can't sink any lower. Hey, you made me remember. What happened with that about the disappearances? Did you manage to find out anything else? So far, the same. The target is young girls with bad economic conditions. <laughs> 
in, one day they just disappear and that's it. Nobody knows anything. I think the last girl who disappeared worked in a supermarket. But they can't just magically disappear. What do you think that is? Well, it's obvious. They're kidnapped by some criminal organization to traffic people or sell their organs. But wait, if they are to sell their organs, why don't they kidnap men too? Dude, I don't have organs. Mom, I arrived at Terminal. How is everything there? Calm down, we're fine. Don't worry about us, I'm worried about you. Man, this bus is tearing down the streets like crazy! Worried about me? Don't worry, Mom. We already talked about this. I'll only be here a few months. That was a job offer that I couldn't pass up. That money will come in very handy. <laughs> also, we have to take advantage of the old apartment, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right, but you hear a lot of bad things about that city and that neighborhood. Most cities have names. That city's called Terminal 81. In this country, there's a crime everywhere. Don't worry, I'm not a... I'm not a girl. I'll be... What? What? Don't forget to call me. I like looked away because I was staring at the fucking walls and stuff. I think she meant she's not a kid. Damn, what the heck? Damn! All right, relax. <laughs> nice place. Who the hell is that? Oh shit. Oh no. It's already happening. I think I'm about to have my organs harvested or something. Hello? Okay, make yourself comfortable. I know it's not in the best condition. This apartment has been lonely for a long time, but it'll help you, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll be fine. By the way, I'm sorry to change the topic, but will you stay in Terminal 81 for long? No, nah, I'll be here for a little bit. Just a little bit. If you're going to stay for a while, you should know that there have been some kidnappings lately, so always be alert while you are away. Just so you know, first things first, people die here all the time, disappear, never come back. Okay, thanks. I really don't know much about the subject. If you want more information, you should ask the city. Wait. Did, no matter my response, was he going to say that? Because I said, okay, thanks. He's like, yeah, I don't know anything. And the other one was kidnappings. Yeah, I don't know anything else. The illusion of choice. Okay, I need to rest. Tomorrow is my first day of work at the supermarket. Welcome to my kingdom, chat. Here we have my cabinets, my beautiful cabinets. I have some boxes here. I hope nothing is broken. Well, I think it's not worth unpacking these boxes. I don't have anywhere to put these things. Okay, uh, here I have a... Should I save my progress? Okay, yeah. And here we have, um... Okay. I can buy things. From- with money. Why would I need any of those things when I have this bucket? This bucket seems to have been here since the building was built. Okay. At least we have a working toilet. And shower with no uh, and no no lights. What the? Oh, damn! My character kind of spooky. Wow, chat! Look at our kingdom! Holy heck! Damn! What is that? A floor mattress? Hell yes! <laughs> Ah, obligatory objective. Go talk to your new boss at the supermarket. I really like it when it's labeled like that. Obligatory objective. Okay, so here are my stats. Looks like I got a stamina bar. I've got a run meter. So I'm guessing stamina is like food or something. I have four inventory slots and zero dollars.
Brazil. It's a little quiet out here. Oh. Doggy. Hell yes, man. Where the hell do I work? Seuss. There's like a fucking Ferris wheel over there. I can see it. This place is great. No one's ever died in Terminal 81. Not once. Can I steal any food? No. Can't go in here. Where the fuck is my... Where's my job? I feel like I shouldn't bother these people. Like it's gonna get me like yelled at. Whoa! What's up? All oh, these shitty politicians are... Jesus! Easy game! Maybe I should switch to Brazilian. Maybe I should switch to Spanish language, dude. <laughs> Maybe I should switch to Spanish for this game. Hopefully that doesn't come up again. Portuguese, yeah. Oh, are you the new employee at the supermarket? You're so pretty. Take care of yourself. Is this play is Terminal 81 dangerous? Quite a lot. This neighborhood is becoming very dangerous, so don't be out so late. Oh well thanks for the what well was it was it like this before? Lately, quite a lot. Before things were very different here. It was picturesque and a safe neighborhood, but it has degenerated a lot. Be careful, Terminal 81 is not secure. It's not secure. The terminal. Okay, well, uh, this looks like the supermarket if I had to bet. Dude, I'm already getting hungry, apparently, I think. Children must love the supermarket for this. Hell yeah, dude! Every day I go to the supermarket, I get myself a gumball, dude! Well, this video is not going to have ads on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that music right there tells me uh, this video is not going to have ads for me. Uh, we'll have ads, just not for, not for little old me, I'm afraid. Uh, I guess I should tell the manager I'm here. I see he's busy reading business. You know, post-economic collapse, uh, obviously. Hey, hi, are you Lorena? Welcome to Terminal 81. I'm Enrique, the manager. We talked earlier on the phone. Hello, yes, it's me. I think you came to Terminal at a difficult time. They removed the mayor for corruption and there are protests. Jeez, you guys are- everyone's really letting me know about the mayor and the protests and like how my organs are gonna get stolen and shit like every day. Every conversation. How did- how terrible. That's right. I hope this doesn't affect the economy too much. Anyway, are you ready to work? How do I work? To work, go to the cash counter, and from there your work day will start automatically. Good luck. He's busy reading the paper. I sure hope nothing bad happens to the economy. Ow, fuck. Alright, well, I've got my training done. False com... Yo, wait, what? Employee of the month. Yo, what the heck? There's a capybara works here. Where the hell are they at? I see the bugs are doing a little dance. The bugs are all doing a little dance. Is there anything else I should, like, know about before I start? Like, what's in here? Globe. Okay. And, uh, bathroom. Technically, I work here, so I'm allowed to do this. Okay. I'm gonna go... Set up. Work in the supermarket. 
Every day you must work in the supermarket. To start your work, just go to the cashier. During the minutes that your work lasts, you will serve customers. The process is simple. Pass your products through the reading bar from the cashier. Put the products in the bag. You give them the bag with the products, and finally you charge them. Okay? Some customers will pay with money. In that case, just put the money in the cash register and give them the change. Other customers will pay with a card. Okay? I understand how these things work. In addition, you'll have to carry out tasks indicated on the blackboard. Okay? Product is running out on the shelves. Look for a box of products and replace them. Vague products. Okay, I can do that. Uh, well, let's um, head on back and grab the product. Once I figure out what product it even is. All right, well, uh, hang on. Hey, Lorena, it's you. Hey, I'm Daniel. I work at the supermarket. I, I mean, not at the same time, but the shift before. Hey, do you understand me? Yeah, I, I guess. I see. Well, I'm glad. You seem like a nice girl. I mean, I don't I don't mean your physique, although your physique is pretty, too. Oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. I'm um, sorry if I said something weird. Did I say something weird? Surely, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Hey, bye, man. Weird man. The thieves. Are you telling me while I've been out there talking to Daniel, that weirdo, uh, with, with the negative Riz levels, uh, that thieves broke into the store and are currently ransacking the place? I'm being, the place is being ransacked. Dude, I haven't even been here for 30 seconds. From time to time, people come to the supermarket who will not grab a basket and they will behave suspiciously. Be careful, these are thieves. If you see one, approach them and get their attention. This will make them leave. If a thief manages to steal a product from the supermarket, you'll be penalized. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Yeah, go ahead and grab a fucking... Oh, the fuck is that beeping? How y'all do it? You wanna get it? Hey! Get the fuck out of here! A customer found insects inside the soup. Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I'm already behind. I'm fucked. Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, thank you for coming. What are you buying? Shoes? Get that, um... Scanned. In the bag. Scanned. In the bag. Hey, what do we have here? Scanned and in the bag. Thanks for the money. Uh, cost. Okay, I don't, um, know how to actually, uh, break this. Okay, I stored it. Here's, um, three dollars. Okay, fuck off. I have to fix the bug problem. I, I need to spray in- That guy's totally telling on me. Is this insecticide? Excuse me, sir. Fuck out of here. How do I drop stuff? I dropped it on the ground. It's fine. What are you buying, good sir? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Charge it. Boom. Let's grab all of it. Grab all this. Boom. 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 Pop. 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 See ya. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> I was running right next to some other dude that was also stealing something from the store. <laughs> I gotta go back. Oh fuck, I'm getting penalized hard. Oh my god. Ah, just a little prank. Just a little silly goof. You're all right. Fuck, you think you're doing Okay, thank you, sir. Have a good day. Have a good... 
Okay, th thank you. Have a good day, sir. Goodbye. Dirt and dust. I gotta get a mop. Oh my god, as soon as I'm done with this doofus. Anything else? Okay. Pop. Pop. Bag it. Bag it. Grab that. Dude, I'm getting faster every day. Here you go, sir. And here's your bag. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, sorry. I'm Argentine. I'm looking for an Argentine... I'm Ar I'm looking for an Argentine girl named Matilde. She disappeared in this neighborhood. I'm new here. I don't know who that is. Matilda's my sister. She hey! 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 Fuck! I don't listen, dude. I, I don't work. I don't know who you are. I'm skipping this. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't have time. What was she doing in Terminal 81? She's doing tourism. She liked Brazil a lot. Uh, the, uh, they suspect she got kidnapped. Bye. Fuck off. Fuck. I'm so sorry about that, sir. This never happened. How you doing? Here's your card. I get lost. Okay, I need the mop. I have to get the mop. I also got a box. I have no idea where that goes yet. Okay, I need to mop this. Sweeping. Do you mind if I sweep this before we, uh... Before I check you out? Sir. Okay. Why are you the only worker? I don't know. Brazil? I don't fucking know. Hey! I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so. Sorry, sir. Here's your change. Have a good day. Fuck off now. Oh, yeah, I have to... This is embarrassing. Alright, fuck off. Hey, 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 I don't hey. think so. I don't think so. I have to fucking cat- Alright, so where's the thing that's missing? There's gotta be something missing on one of these shelves. But I don't see it. Oh, is it up here? I don't know where it is. What is this? Was I just... I think I'm fired. Am I fired? I think I'm fired. Hey! Don't leave! Don't leave! Leave that box on the ground. Sorry, ma'am. Let me get to... Okay, just steal it. <laughs> After a few minutes, your job will finish. If by then there are still customers inside, serve them. If you still have pending tasks, do them. Once everything is done, there are no more customers. Go to the fuse box in the employee room and interact with it to close the market. After that, you'll be given an optional objective, which means you'll be free to explore the city or do whatever you want. What did I get paid? When do I get paid? <clears throat> Thanks. Give me that. Fuck off. Have a nice night. <clears throat> Chat, where the fuck does this box go? It has to go somewhere. I have to. Uh, what the? God fucking damn it. God damn it. We got it. <clears throat> we did it. Look, we're gonna get paid something. They can't pay me nothing. All right, that's that's unbelievable. That's not how the world works. I'm gonna go back. Where's the fuse box? 
Why would it be outside? That's psycho. It's right here. We're closed. $25 for a job. Well done. For a job. Well done. I might add. Explore the city or go home. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, I can't get out the door. Should I steal food? No. Look, we'll stop by like a fast food place on the way home. No. Wasn't there a guy back here? I don't even know where I live. Hello? Good news is you made about $5 USD. Chad, it's 2008. The market was bad. I get it. I ain't gonna just talk to randos anymore. Not after what happened to the last rando I talked to. Now the question is, is there any food I can steal? A lot of people in the park. In the rain. Like a lot of people. Yo! Sorry miss, the fair is closed. Come back in a few days. You stand out here telling people that? Sir? Oh, this must be the police. Maybe they have food. Hi. We do not attend inquiries at this hour, girl. Return tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry about it. Dude, I love it when my police headquarters has spooky music playing the whole time. I'm allowed to just do this? Okay. Yes, this is the spo the spooky police officer building. Oh fuck, I'm dying. Dude, where's First of all, where do I live? Second of all, where do I eat? I'm dying. I need food. Dude. Go in there. <laughs> What are you doing? Damn, the real party's out here, dude. Holy. How do I get in there? I'm allowed in there, right? I'm cool. Hey, man. What can I take you to drink, pretty? Uh, like, what do you got? Uh... Look, I, I just need food. I don't even need a- I don't need a drink. I just need, like, sustenance. Like, real sustenance. Hotel. What is this place? So I work at a convenience store and then I buy stuff from another convenience store. Hey. My son lost several philosophy books a few days ago. You find any, bring them to me, I'll pay you. Now, what are you interested uh, Are you interested in any product? Yeah, what do you have for products? Why the fuck would I want to buy a shovel? I can't eat that. Why would I need any of those? Hello, I'm a psychic. I can make predictions about the future. Uh, about the, my future. Two people are gonna watch you from the supermarket. One wants to protect you and the other wants to hurt you. That was so oddly and creepily specific that I actually do believe it is true. Hey man. You gonna order something? Yeah, actually. Fuck you, Jesus! One small pizza. 
My money! Thanks. Hey, that didn't do much for me. I'm gonna need to buy an- I'm... You didn't order another pizza? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. One large. <laughs> My money! Thanks. Yep. No, no, I don't want anything else. Actually, could I get a diet, uh, diet Pepsi? Could I get a diet Pepsi? Thanks. Thanks. Try to be careful about my calories, you understand. All right, let's get this back to my house. Where the hell do I live? It's like getting wet. Do I live over here? Dude, it didn't tell me where my house was. Like, that's the problem. I don't actually, do I just have to use the bus? Oh, I just go, I use the bus. Okay. Here we are, chat. Was there always this much black mold on the walls? It don't matter. I'm gonna save. Can I leave my pizza here? <laughs> Damn, living like a king. Let's go to work. Ah, uh, yes. What a beautiful day. Lots of people just staring. Damn, I could have bought like a, oh, could have gotten, could have gotten stuff other than pizza? Got sushi. Fuck. Oh, well. Look, chat, this time, we're not going to be overwhelmed. We know exactly how to do all of our shit. We're going to clock in. We're going to do it right. Here we go. First of all, before we even start work, I'm going to read the thing. Soap dispenser, empty, find a soap bottle, fill it. Dirt and dust on the supermarket floor. Posters missing. Look for posters and place them. On, in the windows. If I go back and grab this stuff, I can't grab it now, but I do know what I need to do now. All right. Quickly. First things first. Sweep. Gotta sweep. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it before anyone comes in. Windows. Boom. Outside. I go outside to do it. Gotta sweep. Quickly now! I'm not gonna let anyone fuck this for me. All right, one job, done. Next up, sweeping. That one takes a minute. No one's in here, so it's perfect timing. Quickly. Quickly, man! All right, good. Someone entered. They aren't stealing anything. Let's go fill up the soap. Jesus Christ. Perfect. Leave this on the ground. We don't need it anymore. And that ditch it. And it's a beautiful day. We've done all of the jobs. We can just stand here and watch these people like fucking hawks now. Twins, huh? Awkward that you two came in separately. 
I forgot to buy this when I came back today. Yeah, no one asked. I don't really care. I really don't care whether you forgot to buy this or anything. Like, I don't care. Okay, here you go, sir. Uh, fuck off. Okay, bye. Hey, I need to talk to you. Meet me at the Asian restaurant after work. What? I, I'm not gonna do that. Bye. Goodbye. Better be br grabbing a fucking basket. You're gonna walk in here. Dude, I'm getting better. Every time I get a little faster. Every time I get a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. The day is going well. Thoughts committed, zero. What the? Get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. Wait, wouldn't it be super easy for me to stand right here and if I see anyone walk by, just click on them immediately? If I don't have anything to, like, cash out? Pet food, wheat flour, a whole watermelon, sausages. Damn! Crazy night, huh? Damn! What's this? Ah! Oh. One moment, man. One and one more, one more moment, man. Do you want a membership? Do you want? Do you want a membership? Okay, here. You're gonna. The, I think the machine triple charged you. You're gonna have to call the credit card company. Thank you. One moment, sir. Do you want a membership? Okay, here you go. Have a nice night. Hey, from a while ago, I'd like to ask you a question. What? I'm going to call the police, good sir. Hey, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Dude, I'm calling the cops. Go away. Gee, get the fuck. Weirdo. Maybe I should tell the manager. Oh, hello. Cookies, instant soup. One check. There you go. Bag it. Oh, fuck you. Whatever! That weirdo fucking distracted me bad. God damn it. All right, ma'am, here, get lost. Dude, that- The capybara never would have allowed a thief to get out of the fucking building, dude. That capybara, the employee of the month, probably would have chased that thief down and bit him right in his Achilles tendon and fucking maimed him. But me? I just don't have the stomach for it. I don't have the strength. It's a damn shame. I'll never be as fast. Never be as strong. Alright, get the fuck out of here. How much longer does my shift even go for? Campy would have just, yeah, they would have just drawn their fucking gun and shot them in the back of the head and done it clean. Right on the goddamn parking lot. Just didn't have the guts. Do me a favor and cash this out quick. Yeah, you got it. 
Don't worry, good sir. You got it. Okay, here I go. Would you like a membership? We have a two for one. You get one free ice cream, you get membership now. You get 2% discount forever. No? Okay. Okay, bye. I'm gonna keep this two dollars, I think. Okay, bye. Okay, we closed. We closed now. Fucking damn it. <sighs> Manager, we have someone won't leave restaurant. <laughs> Says I owe him money. I don't owe him shit. Hey, Lorena, how's everything? Good job today. Sorry I was busy negotiating with a new distributor. A uh, weird guy came in today. A weird guy? Wait, is it that blonde guy? Must be Mateo. Ignore him. He's a neighborhood clown. Neighborhood clown? That's right. He's a troublesome boy. Has no parents or family. Ignore him. But let me know if it keeps bothering you. Okay. Okay, good sir. I've decided to give you this money. Fuck off. Time to close up. I should get paid a lot for this today, Chad. I better. I, did, I only did one thing wrong. Boom, dude! So there was that strange man who wants me to meet him at the restaurant right next door. I gotta leave to the back. I keep on forgetting. There was that weirdo. But that that wasn't the weirdo that said all the weird stuff to me. The other weirdo. Huh. Well, maybe I should talk to them. Maybe I should have a word with them. Uh, I literally don't know where they are. Dude, I, the guy asked me to meet him here, and he's not here. So, um... D no, he wasn't wearing, like, a... It wasn't trench coat guy. Hello, I think we've met before. My name is Park Sung Woon, and... I'm a correspondent for one of the biggest newspapers in the public... In the Republic of Korea. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? I'm here investigating a supposed human trafficking network in this neighborhood in my country. Okay, I don't know anything about that. What I wanted to say was if you find out something, let me know. I'm sorry I asked you to come all the way over here just so I could literally say that. Okay, bye. Fuck off. I'm eating. Okay. Wait. Are you not wearing anything under that? I'm leaving. Damn! The acoustics on that are crazy. I accept tips, sweetie. Uh, no, you don't. Not for me. <laughs> you ain't gonna be accepting anything from me, because I'm not giving you anything. <gasps> Boom, idiot! Hi. Uh. Well, I don't need to buy anything. I've got a whole pizza at home. Damn it, I was gonna see if I could just grab a slice of these idiots and run. Whatever. I'm going back home. As soon as I pick up what I can only assume will be philosophy books inside this deep, scary alley. Remember that guy wants me to find him those philosophy books? Imagine if I found them in these deep, 
spooky, abandoned alleyways behind the amusement park. In the spooky alleys. There's got to be something around here. Yo, check this out. Fuck you. Soft locked, yeah, worth it. Worth it, man. I'm going home. Here we are, chat. Back at the house. My pizza is being eaten by my bed. Actually peeling these slices of pizza right out of the toilet. That's been sit- Hang on, I got another one in here, I can tell. Oh, hell yes, man. Fuck yes. I love my pizza marinated. Hell yes. I can't actually get this one. Oh no, I can't grab this one. Wait. Fuck! Half of my pizza has been devoured by the bed and I can't get it back. We learned. We learned now. That's never gonna happen again. Also, uh, why would I ever order food if when I go to sleep, all my energy comes back? Ever again. Huh. Well. Back to it. Maybe I'll grab a drink before I go to work today. Damn, dude. Absolutely shredded up out there. Hell yes, bro. Bro, he's doing the move, dude. He only knows one dance. Oh, he, he, look, he's like one of those people that dances and like if you look at them for too long, you notice that they literally only know how to do the one thing and then they stop. Hey, can I have a... Uh, can I have whiskey on the rocks? Thanks. I'm allowed to take this to work with me. I'm allowed to do that. Right? Yeah. Gets blitzed before work. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. Gets blitzed during work. Hey, miss. The fair is officially open. Visit us. Okay. What's up, Daniel? Hey, hey, Lorena. It's nice to see you. Hey, well, uh, how are you? Why? I'm fine. Ah, well, I'm glad you're okay. Me? Well, I'll be going home shortly. Who asked? All right, well, be careful out there. There's like a psycho. Hey, thank you very much. You're very nice and pretty. You remind me a lot of Fatima. See you tomorrow, I think. Uh, okay. Forget what I said about Fatima. Okay. Who's that? Is that the uh, last one? Hey, manager. Oh, they're not here. What's on my list of things to do today? Soap, dispenser, bathroom, toilets, clogged, posters, missing from the walls. Copy that. Let's do this. Let's get it done. Now. Soap. Boom. Poster. Poster. Grab it. Get it done. Do the posters first. Jesus, that is a loud fucking car. Soap. 
terrible sound. Done. Now where's that claw at? Holy crap. Uh, we don't actually have a plunger. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Oh, there it is. Don't worry, I got it. Don't, don't worry. All right, now I've earned myself a drink. Holy crap. Fucking hell, man. Okay. Good evening. Good evening to you. Thank you, thank you. Let me get that checked out for you, good sir. Where the money? There it is. Okay, store it. Here's your change, and have a good day. See you tomorrow. Have you thought about buying, like, enough things to last you multiple- He's gone. <laughs> me... Beans. <laughs> Meat and beans again, huh? Damn, man. I get it. We've all been there. Sometimes you just go to the supermarket and you just buy meat and beans. Staples. Powerful purchases. I mean, yeah, dude, I mean, like, I'm not gonna rip on meat and beans. It's just a lot of meat and a lot of beans. Give me a favor, cash this out quick. All right. I mean, it's just too meat. I get it. One moment, man. Holy crap. I'm fucked up. Okay, here you go. Oh my god. I shouldn't have drank an entire freaking whiskey on the way. What the heck was that? Did you guys freaking hear that? Hello? So you're the brown bitch after Henry. What the fuck? The dialogue in this game is psycho chat. <laughs> Jesus! Why are you insulting me? This is Brazil. <laughs> no, I think these people are just awful. Oh my god. I wonder if this game would... <laughs> I wonder if there's an actual, like, I wonder if the vibe changes if I change it all to Portuguese. You know what I mean? Like, what? how much of it would I be missing if I just changed it all to another language? It can't get worse. Okay, well, uh, ma'am, uh, you got some toilet paper and some cornmeal. Uh, I'm gonna check that out. There you go. And, uh, there's your card, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've played games with, like, a lot of, like, deliberate racism in it before and stuff like that. Like, I mean, Disco fucking didn't pull any punches. It's just I wasn't really expecting this in my supermarket game, to be honest. Uh... I just wasn't, like, usually you go in expecting that, you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, well, if it's there, then, like, I expected it. Like, I just wasn't expecting it. I mean, it's retail. So, yeah. Damn, you're huge, man. Sausages? What is that, shampoo? 
Man, who we kidding, man? You sure you need this? For what? <laughs> Alright, All right, man. Maybe it's body wash? It isn't. Ten and one! <laughs> Ten and one, huh? Hell yes. I get it, man. Crack into that shit, start slurping it down. Pet food, energy drink, pet food. You got it. No thieves today, huh? Guess everyone heard that I'm on the prowl and I don't just let anything like slip around. People don't just get by me, all right? I'm crazy. Prices have increased. The card's been declined. I need to charge it again. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what the machine is saying. I'm going to have to charge it again. Egg word day. Transacal a provocado. I, I don't know what the fuck that means. You're going to have to get a new fucking card. Please leave my... Ain't no fucking way. Fuck off. Hey. Give me that. Yeah, right. Get the fuck out of here. Be careful. What, with your soaps and beans? Okay. I'll be really careful with these. Okay. There you go. Wait a minute. Hold up. If this girl give... Oh, 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 she paid with credit. I was like, if someone's gonna... If this only costs $3 and they give me fucking cash, there is no way I'm breaking that if it's like... Like, like there's... Actually, I guess I could. I, I, I'm, I don't know why that. So I got conf my brain fucking leaked for a minute. I was like, how do I? How do you break a five dollar bill into once? Dude, my brain started like leaking. I got like really confused for a second. You okay, bro? I think I'm still flu I'm, I'm flummoxed from the, uh, the racism game a little bit. And I'm a little jumpy. I think I'm a little flummoxed. Here you go, sir. Did you drink whiskey at work, too? Yeah, I did. I, I did. I swigged the whiskey. The what? Yeah, the, the, the wild lines these NPCs keep coming in and saying when they talk to me sometimes. Uh, I, I, I've been flummoxed a little bit. Is the store closed now? I do everything. Damn, man. If only Capivara was still here. Goddamn employee of the month. He would know what to do. People wouldn't be pulling this shit with them. If only they weren't murdered by some psycho and had their organs harvested. But instead, I'm stuck here alone. Damn, man. All right, boss. What the fuck was that? Investigate the scream at the church or go home. Why the fuck would I invest? I don't even know where the church is. What the fuck am I supposed to do at the church? I think I go home. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I don't, excuse me, do you know where the church is? Can I like jump over this and soft lock myself? Hang on. Hold up. Really important shit right now. I'm fucked. I just killed myself. Oh! He is still close! Oh fuck! Wait! 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 We don't have that much stamina, wait. Wait, I broke in here through a jump. I don't even know how to. Oh, wait, that can sleep through here. Chill. Oh, wait, you're one of those. Ah! What? What was that? Where am I? What happened to me? I got the shit kicked out of me. Clocked by Dallas from Payday. I should go to the police. There was a lady here. They were bleeding out on the ground. <laughs> I gotta check my organs. Okay, that's not good. Chat, my entire mid-torso is gone. I'm like fucking, I'm a foot shorter right now. They just took it all out. I guess I should go to the police. Can't jump this, I have to walk all the way. Police! Police! Assassino! Assassino! Help! Assassino! Police! Policia! You know, if I knew someone was going to try to harvest my organs, I just try to, like, get ahead of the game and, like, sell them myself. You know what I mean? Like, come on, chat. If you know the odds are incredibly high, your organs get harvested, like, real hard. You might as well just get the kidney out of there early. It's going to be stolen anyways, if you don't. You know? <laughs> Rulty squad logic. Dude, look, it's just like, if you know it's gonna happen, why even waste the time getting owned? Hey man, I wanted to apologize for the soccer ball that I threw, but I'm afraid to click on your character to find out what you have to say about it because I'm afraid you'll say some, you'll pull some like Kuno shit. And honestly, in this game, I'm afraid of what Kuno shit is in a game where it's already that bad all the time. So I really can't speak to you. I thought the super, I thought the fucking amusement park was open tonight. Hang on. Is it? Yo, they're channeling fucking portals. I'm not going to the goddamn police. What's up? Hey, it looks like you don't have any points. Why don't you play a game of throw the ball? Okay. One game of throw the ball, please. <laughs> How do I throw it? Oh. There is absolutely no way it's possible to get it into the 100. Absolutely no way in a million fucking years. Very good. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Not bad. 
75 points. Would you like to play a game of toss the ball? What do I get for my points? You don't have enough points to redeem. The minimum is 500. Can I, all right, one of these has to be one that I can totally cheat at. What's this one? Hunters? Yeah, I'll play it. Let's do it. Jesus! That deer's fast. It don't matter. I can load. Damn! Ain't no way. Okay, this one I could totally do. I could do really well on this one. Do it again. That one? Okay, that one's an option to get some points. Why don't you play a game of ring toss? No, no, no. These throwing ones are bullshit. That dude's actually channeling an Eldritch Blast. Jesus fucking Christ, that dude's a real... That guy's an actual warlock. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play another game of Hunters. Check this one out. Boom. Boom. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, I did everything right! Alright, fine. Well, I still did. Pr I still got two. I still need to do one more so I can get my fucking. get my prize, whatever it is. Washed up. Dude, watch this. Let me just pick up the gun. You kidding me? The character doesn't even know how to hold the gun anymore. Damn, I can't cheese it. Okay, well, I got 625. We're fine. We can buy, we can buy, we can get something with our points now. No, I want to redeem my points. Fifteen dollars. Wait, 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 wait. If I get good at this, I could cash out harder. Dude, I could just become a full-time, like, carnival gamer. Hold up. Hold up. If I'm good, which I'm not. Ain't no way. Chat? Hold up. If I hit 1 100 every single game, I make my money back. Even. Square. Do you think it's better just to go for the rabbit? Hang on, I'm gonna- Hang on, hang on, hang on, shut the fuck up, lady. Shut up! I wanna play again. What if I just go for the rabbit? How much are they? Are they 50? Oh my god, where are you pointing this fucking gun? Dear god. Ain't no way! WHAT IS THIS?! Send me back. What that dude, that's not even my- I can't fucking see. That's like rigged. It got really quiet. What the fuck? Why is it so? It's like everything's quiet. Dude, am I about to get murdered? Oh, uh, too many fair games, chat. I don't feel so good. Okay, one, one more, one more, one more. Shut up, one more, one more, one more. I can do better. I can do better. I have to get, I can make even more money. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. 
400. 500. I got it. Dude. I got it. Yeah, I'd like to keep playing. I got it now. The, the no audio helps me. One hundred. Okay. Hang on, I gotta make sure I do this right. Two hundred. If I do, if I try to speed up too much, I fuck it up. There we go. Always let it come from that side, and I got it. Dude. Chat, we're buying an actual bed tonight. Tonight. We buy a real. Protagonist Lorena has limited amount of energy, which is spent faster while doing actions like running and jumping. If the energy bar gets too low, Lorena's vision will become blurry and she'll, be, she'll get slower, clumsier. Uh, buy food. Uh, go home to sleep. Shut the fuck up. I'd like to play again. Holy crap. I'm fucked. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Again. Again. I can do another. I got time for one more and then I gotta go to the cops and tell them I saw someone get their throat slashed open outside the abandoned church, lady. You hear the scream earlier? I was there when it happened. I was there, I saw the whole thing, and then my head got smashed open like a watermelon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this time. My gun aiming at the ceiling. I can't even hit that funny duck. All right, the game was rigged from the start that time, guys. I think that's enough carnival games for me. I'd like to redeem all my points for money. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen more dollars. And another fifteen dollars. You have a good day. Hi. Can I have an ice cream for three dollars? Thank you. Shouldn't crunch like that. Not immediately. Oh. All right, I'm energized. Back to the game. <laughs> One more time! Okay. I'm cool. 100. 200. Dude, I'm cashing out. 300. 400. He's been at it for hours? Wrong. I've been at it for minutes. And what a couple of minutes they've been. Again, again. Lady, you don't, you need to let other people play the game. There's children in line. Shut the fuck up. You know how much money you're paying for this? You should talk to your fucking manager because this guy's going to be fucking broke by the end of this shit. <laughs> fuck, they rigged the handle. God fucking damn it. What? It's always been the crosshair. I thought it didn't work like that. I thought it followed the gun. Of course it uses the crosshair. What are you, stupid? I still made my money. Coin game changed him. Why the fuck would I work in... Ri Hang on. Dude, I actually saw that ice cream cone. I was like, I bet the game will let me steal it out of their hands. Without a second thought, I was like, I'm going to run up to that person. More games need to let you run up to someone while they're eating a snack and rip it out of their hands and eat it in front of them. You know what I mean? Why can't more games let me be a seagull?
You know? What the fuck is up with that? One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Dude, it's so easy. This is, the, this is easier money. Why the hell would I ever play the actual game ever again? Why would I do that? I'd like to cash out. Again. Yes. Yes. Am I gonna be short one dollar? I've... Dude, I need a tiny bit more money and I could get... I, I'd have 150 bucks. That would let me actually buy something. Hang on, I wanna talk to the wizard. Jeez! Can I talk to him? No, he has nothing to say to me. Well, this is a... Yo! Sorry. You can only go up to the Noria in the day. The what? You reading Karl Marx? Oh wait, this is one of those philosophy books. That guy was gonna pay me if I got those. I steal it. Arcade machines are all disconnected, none of them work. All right, I guess I'm gonna fucking leave. And, ugh. Fine, I guess I'll report the accident I saw. And by accident, I mean violent murder to the police. I wonder if the police will have time today. Jeez. Where the fuck is the police station? Doggy. Where the hell is- I guess the police are on the other side. Officer, I witnessed a horrible crime. And then I went to the carnival, so I didn't have time to report it. But- I swear to God, I, I witnessed it, and then I got hit in the back of the head really, really hard with a bat. And then I went to the carnival, and then I remembered I needed to come and tell you. And I, it's the thought that counts, right? It's the thought that counts. Where the fuck is this place? Gotta be right here, right? This is the police officer? This is the police station? This has to be. Yeah, 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 this is it. What the? What the? Here are you, are you feeling better now? What? What happened to the woman? Don't worry about that, we have to investigate. Concentrate on yourself. Stay calm. Nothing bad will happen to you. I got hit in the head by a bat and then I passed out and I think I time traveled and I don't know where I am. Well, f I'll find it fast. Don't worry. We're going to do everything at our disposal. Very well. I'll leave. Remember, if anything else happens, call us right away. I don't have a phone. Okay, bye. Bro, I'm blacking out. I need to save. I have to save my game now. Do I change the language to see if the game's dialogue becomes more tolerable? Though I wonder. Should I buy? I should buy something. Dining set? Living room set? Bathroom? Toilet? Toilet? You buy a toilet. Yeah, get a bedroom. Damn! I can get to my pizza now! Hell yes! Huge dude, this thing's been sitting under that fucking bed for weeks! Hell yes! Hell yes! Wait. Give me some of that. Wait, give me some of that. Give me a slice of that there pizza! Yes! 
Very nice. That pizza's been marinating under the bed for days. Going to sleep. Gotta drop off this Karl Marx book. Ah, another day, another dollar. I forgot to switch the dialogue, but frankly now I'm just going to read it more carefully before I even start reading it and then skip it if it's anything I don't like. Can I have a pizza? You gonna order something? Yeah. Actually, no. Do you want to see our food menu? Yeah. Can I have, uh... Some sushi. Thanks. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. I need my fortune read now. A group of very bad people are approaching you. They are preparing a trap for you. Okay. That's uh, not great. Hey. $25 for that book? Damn. So I have to buy two pizzas. Very bad people are approaching me quickly, chat. We should keep our wits about us. We have no idea when those very bad people might try to murder me. I'm not even gonna talk to Daniel. I don't have time. Soap dispenser, dirty. Uh, there's some dirt and some posters. All right. Copy that. Soap. Boom. Sweet first. Chat, I'm not- Chat, listen, alright, I'm re- We all saw how good my aim is. I'm not gonna lose to anyone. Someone tries to fucking get me, they're gonna be catching like- I'm gonna throw like a throwing knife into their fucking eye. Okay, I- I have no doubt. Is my FOB getting like- like, more crunched. Swear to God, something's up with my FOV. Don't worry, he is a paladin. Yeah, I've got Divine Smite ready to go. I've got my Smite ready. You think I'm a fool? Do you think I'm not ready? I cast Detect Evil and Good. My Divine Sense is activated. Holy shit, I'm such a fucking dweeb. Hey! Fuck! No! Fuck you! Give that back, give that back, give that back, give that back. Give that back! Give that back! When it rains, it pours, dude. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Fuck off. Sorry about that, sir. Shoulder, potatoes, short pasta. Would you like a membership? Okay. Get lost. Ah, what a lovely day. Aside from the two horrible, horrible crimes that happened. It's fine, I'll just stop at the fucking, like, fair and make my money back. You know what I mean? Like, none of this matters. I'll just make my money by doing that. Alright, fuck off. Might be closed though? No, it won't be. I just have to remember that apparently there's a group of bad men that are trying to get me. Don't forget, we paid two dollars for that fortune, or like three dollars. All right, as of right now, there's a group of bad men trying to get me, and they're not gonna get me. Okay. 
soda, avocado. I mean, I need... Boom. Bada bing, bada bam, get lost. God, this is the longest shift I've ever been on. Is that clock fucking broken? So this is how they get me to work forever. Oh, fuck off. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Next, 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 next. If I don't get any closer, he won't talk to me. I just don't have to get, if I don't get any closer, he can't talk to me. Get out of my way! Fuck off! Fuck off! God damn it! No! I'm calling the police! Oh, this guy has information about the disappearances. What do you know? Meet me at the top of the nightclub after your work. I'll be busy forever. I'm sorry, that won't be possible. I'm not going there. Fucking hell, I cannot believe that happened to me. Should have gone around the other way. Dude, I'm not gonna- yeah, I'm not gonna go meet you at the top of a nightclub. What's up? Chicken and potatoes, huh? Okay. Alright, ma'am. Here you go. Whoa, 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 that lady just pushed that. Uh, hello? Hello? Good evening, are you Lorena? We're investigating the murder of Maria Marks. Please tell us everything you know. I, I don't know, uh, a dude hit me with a bat, but she it was at an abandoned church. You saw the killer, right? Do you remember some of his features? His clothes, height, skin, color, anything? Uh, tall white guy. Yeah, I remember that. Perfect. Going back to Maria, did you know her? Do you know anything that could make other people want to kill her? I don't fucking know who that is. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that adds up. Uh, all right. Well, uh, bye. Bye. I just heard a scream. I don't know who they were. Thanks for the money. Bye. Bye-bye. Instant soup, sausage, 61 in one shampoo. You know, you can eat this shit raw. And it'll actually sustain you for about 12 days straight. It's crazy. Yep, 16, 61 in one shampoo. If you leave it out in the sun for long enough, you'd like a big dollop of it out in the sun, it'll grow into an actual living creature and scamper away. It's crazy. Yeah, one of the 61 and ones is gremlin. Yeah, a little gremlin will come out of it after a certain point in time. It's crazy. What's good? Garlics, wheat flour, dog food. Money. Thank you. Fuck off. That's what it's just like the fun thing I say to every customer who comes by the store. Uh, they love it. Okay, we're closed. All right, boss. <laughs> you pondering uh, sports? 
Hey, Lorena, good news. We signed a contract with a new distributor. Uh, yesterday, a woman came uh, insulting me. Really? Is she a blonde woman? For God's sakes, what a troublesome woman. Yeah, she was actually really racist. Really? Wow, really sorry. It must have been horrible for you. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Sorry again. Okay. I sure hope the manager doesn't turn out to be some kind of psycho. You know. Some kind of maniac. Alright. Well, chat, time to go to, uh... First of all, turn the supermarket off. Uh, hit the breaker while he's literally in here. What the... Huh. Okay. So, the... Fortune teller said I would be murdered tonight by a group of spooky men. So I'm going to go somewhere where I know there will be people and it will be... Whoa! I'm going to go to the fucking... I'm going to go to the goddamn amusement park and I'm going to make some money. Whoa! 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 I'm in danger out of here. I'm not safe. <gasps> she was right. Remember me? Remember me? I'd like to play a game of hunters now. Fast now, fast. Really quiet. Bop one hundred. Bop two hundred. Bop three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Damn it! I almost did a perfect run. That was almost perfect. Dude, every single time I hit one of those deer, I make three dollars. So it's like, it, it, I'm I'm a god. Like, it, it, this is the easiest game of my life. She told him a group of men would murder him, and he immediately decided to take a path past the abandoned church where someone was just murdered. I got, listen, it's the shortest path to the fucking amusement park. What do you want from me? I, I, I needed to get here quickly. Damn it. Oh, I'm slipping. Look, I just want to make a quick $60 because I got penalized because of those fucking goons that stole from me. Just want to make some cash quick, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. I should try the ring game at least once to see if maybe it's easier than I think it is. But I'm probably, I'm assuming it's going to be like that throwing, the, the ball throw. So it's probably going to suck. Oh my god. Oh, I'm washed up. As long as I hit it once, I technically break even, though. So I don't lose anything. Which is fucking crazy. He lost his touch. What do you mean? I'm making so much money out of this shit. I'm making millions. Can someone uh, do a 2008 cross-check on how much uh, money I'm actually making in USD American dollars? Please? Because uh, this isn't like American dollars. Right? The audio. Divide it by like two or three. It's not that bad. Now, I'm going to do one round of the ring game to get the last 50 points I need. So how's this, how's this game here work? Oh, it's the same game as the other game, but this time it's rings. Fucking hell. Okay, it's even worse than the ball game. Ain't no way. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? Hey, hey, do you have magnets under this fucking thing? How's it doing that? That's magnets or something, I'm telling you. There's some, there's some bullshit going on. 
Okay, let's just do it more gentle. One more game of the gun thing, please. Thank you. It's that fucking warlock. That warlock. He keeps casting spells. Manipulating the chances, the odds of me winning his sick game. I'm not gonna let him get away with it anymore. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're gonna cash this out, get $60. Did he give up already? Can you blame me? I missed every single one of them. I had to give up. Try again. I can't do that, I'm afraid. I'll never get... I could spend a million dollars on that ring game and never get one in it. Definitely don't try again, you'll fail. That's what I'm saying. Sixty Brazilian real is twelve USD. So I've made twelve dollars here. That's not bad. If you make twelve dollars out of three dollars, that's still a lot of money. I'll do this one more time. One more time. But only once, because I need enough money to buy a new bathroom. That warlock's casting his fucking spells. That counts! Fuck you! What? What? Oh! Oh! I did it! Back to, back to being trash. Ain't no way. Yeah, we're never doing that. We're never doing that, but we will cash it out. We'll cash out what we got. Okay, let's leave. Beginner's luck. Fell off. All right, fine! One last ride, all or nothing. Check this one out. I'm about to blow your mind. Fuck off. God damn it. God damn it. Shit. What? Yo! Go in. Yo! What? Whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, those count. Those count. That counts. Those two are in. Yo, that's big. He cheated, ref. No, I didn't cheat anything. Wait, how did I get so many points? I swear to God, I didn't have that many before. Yo, I'm gonna keep cheating. You think I care? In. Fuck. Damn. That counts. Three hundy. As long as I get one three hundy, this is even better. Yo! Dude. 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 What the fuck? Yo, the magnets are working for me now. Those are counting multiple times? It's giving 600 per? Yeah, I'd like to play another game of the ring toss. The warlock's magic. The warlock's magic. Boom. Three hundy. And by three hundred, I mean six hundy. Boom. Let's get the other one. That's in. Give it to me. Come on. What the? What the? Hey, ref. No, 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 ref. That's still on that thing. That doesn't count as a throw. Yep. That's what I thought. What the?
Hey, did you turn up the electromagnets? <laughs> what? One more. He peaked? I still made 600 points off that. That's not peaking. That's in, baby. <laughs> Give it here. <gasps> no! It's fine. What? It's fine. What? It's fine. What? Oh, that's in. Yup. Simple as that, baby. As long as I hit one, I make all my points back and I do the maximum that I would do with the hunting game. So why would I not? Dude, we're buying a night. We're buying a nice toilet. It's time we get back home. We're buying a nice toilet and we're going to buy like four pizzas to leave all around the house. Mark my words. Yeah, that's going to go in. Check this one out. Watch that. Just keep watching it. What? Okay. One of those has to do something. I'm going to get really demoralized. Chad. Wait. I'm missing a ring. It don't matter. This can't happen to me? One more game, please. This is so sad to watch why I'm a millionaire. Why would it be sad to watch I'm a millionaire? I'm devolving. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. How is this happening? Okay, I'm in. I got it. I just have to be like super aggressive with my throw. But not that aggressive. I need to throw harder. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more, then I'm clear. Then we're clear. We're going home. There's like a gang of like really bad guys that are all ready to get me and they've all been watching from the entrance to the fucking like look they're all like asking when I'm gonna be done at the amusement park so that they can like fucking get me they're all asking the management that's in dude dude uh 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 how pray tell does this happen to a man? I'm done with the ring throw. Hey, I'd like to redeem some points. Hey, can I do these in bulk? This is going to take all night. Redeem points. Bell off plus bad plus doo doo plus big L. Dude, I'm about to have a fully furnished toilet. And you're saying I fell off? You're gonna see. Your house is full of mold. So what? I don't have weak lungs. My lungs can process black mold like it's no one's fucking business. All right. All right, cash it all out. Oh my God, look at the cash. Let's get the fuck out of here. And you know what? I'm gonna get another freaking ice cream. One ice cream, ma'am. Thank you. No one's gonna kill me if I'm going on home with this ice cream. Let's go. Should I? I'm not gonna go to the fucking top of the like. No, 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 no. We're not gonna talk to that weirdo. On the top of the the fucking nightclub. We're not gonna do that. I just don't care. Consume this meal. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Oh, 
Oh shit. It's okay. It's okay, chat. It's still good. Chat, it's, it's, it's okay. It's still good. It's still good. Got more sprinkles on it than I remember, but it's still good. It, it's still good. Mmm. I want to buy pizzas before I leave. I want to get myself a pizza. Wait, what do you sell here? Uh, what do you sell here again? Binoculars, a flashlight. Yeah, I'll buy binoculars. Thanks. Cool. Hi. Can I have a, yeah, can I get myself a, a, a large pizza, please? Damn, damn, look at that pizza, man. Thank you so much. You have beautiful eyes. All right, let's go home. I don't know where I am. You want pizza? Yeah, I'm looking around and I just uh, can't find anyone who gives a fuck. All right, if I do this other than you. Whatever, fuck you. Pizza, pizza, pizza. All right. All right, Chet. We got ourselves a. Mmm, yo, we still got some ground pizza. I'm gonna leave that one half finished. That's a surprise for me for later. Yummy. Safe. I'm gonna buy a toilet now. I had air dropped to me. Damn, man. Damn. Hell yes. Hell yes. This is a new place I can put my favorite pizza box. Hell yes. Hell yes. Good. Going to sleep. Still gotta do something about that black mold, though. Have you considered cleaning? No. Pretending to be busy doing nothing on my phone. Been there. Just, like, switching between two of the same applications, trying to pretend like I have something to do while I sit around not doing anything. Yep, I get it. Dude, take the fucking cap off of the beer. Damn. Should I ask this lady? I, that, the last fortune she gave me sucked. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'd like a prediction about the future of the world. A great revolution will shake many countries of the Arab world. What the fuck? That is an oddly specific thing. What? Bud, what? <laughs> How do you? <laughs> okay, lady, am I gonna get killed today? 
There's a person close to you who is suffering and you will have the opportunity to dictate her future yourself. Okay. All right. All right. Copy that. Another day, another dollar, chat. <laughs> another day, another dollar. There's a puddle I have to mop up. There's some garbage bags. Some posters. Okay. Take all the trash out first. Help! Help! Jumped. Who the hell? Oh, no. It's this guy again. Hey, what's up? Have you discovered anything? Uh, no. I see. If you find out something, you can tell me. For some reason, the supermarket is a great source of information. No, it isn't. Okay. Have a good night, miss. And be careful. The supermarket is strange. Yup. It isn't, though. All right, so someone's going to come in today whose fate I will dictate. Ma'am! Get the fuck out of here. Fate dictated. What? Oh my god. The fucking puddle. That's not fair. The mop is very wet. Dry it with the bucket. Uh, good sir. Where? Also, I believe the point of the mop is that it be dry. Because then we put a sign down that says wet floor while the floor dry. Fuck off! What's wrong? Oh my god, I just want to get the job done. Let me just finish mopping. I'm gonna fucking cry! Sorry about that, sir. But I'm here now. Boom, boom. Bada bing, bada bam, get lost. Man, fuck this job. We should work at the carnival. That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying this whole time. But the problem is I have to know magic. The problem, chat, the issue with that is I have to learn magic and I just don't know how. I don't know if I'd ever have the strength. If Tomato were a witch, he'd fly a mop. Okay, hurtful. It's fucked. But it's fine, I've heard worse. Here's your money, man. Have a good night. Name one worse insult, Lanky Kong. Easy. Oh shit, kinda accurate. Hang on, let me, I, I, like if we're gonna make this a uh, like, you know, take me down stream, let me just get into a good, like a better position. Ah. Let me just square up so everyone can hit me clean instead of like taking these glancing blows. Might as well do it square. All right. You don't got anything else? They want to get off their chest. Might as well hit me square. Hang on. Yeah, I want to make sure if I'm going to get hit, you hit me in a good spot. Don't just post a picture of the shrimp. Don't just post a shrimp emote. Fuck you. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> My posture is great. Fuck you. Wrong. Oh. 
It ain't so shrimple now. Stop! Oh, Jesus. Hang on, sir, sir. sir. I don't have time! I don't have time! I don't have time! There's a thief! Daniel! Fuck off! Hey! Go away! Everything's fine. Wait, did that guy grab anything? He does. He has a basket. That guy's a super thief. Hey. Get lost. Hey! 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 Uh. Oh, there it goes. Okay, have a good day. Hey! Dude, I got these potato chips and a little, you know, like, you know when, like, you get stuff from, like, a, like, a, sometimes, like, um, got something from Panera, and now I have potato chips next to me. I haven't eaten them yet. They were, like, leftover. They came out of, like, you know, I got a bag and I didn't open it at the time. They've been taunting me all day. It's driving me fucking crazy. I've been there for, like, two, three days, these potato chips. I don't know why I haven't eaten them. But now I can't stop thinking about them. I keep seeing them in my peripheral and it's pissing me the fuck off. And I keep on having this weird thought that at some point if I don't eat them, something's gonna take them from me. But like what? What's gonna take them? I mean, I'm in my own office. What's gonna take it from me? I've got like fucking primal brain. And I keep on thinking if I don't eat this right now, something's gonna take it. Like pedal to the metal, I have to eat these... I have to eat these chips right now. Oh, something's gonna take them from me. <laughs> I start laughing and I start choking on chips. Fine. Yo, far fall. Good choice. See, I fucked up because now I have these chips open and I'm not gonna eat them on stream, but I did eat one chip for the sound effect. And that was a mistake. Because now I have chips in my system. God damn, dude. Kettle chips, man. Give me a fucking break. Chat. People are out here getting normal original lays and they don't fucking realize how nasty and unacceptable they are. They don't get it. What kind of freak gets the chips over the bread at Panera, though? I don't fucking know. I just... Sometimes I just I just click a thing. I cannot believe this is happening to me. What's that's so wrong? Dude, I actually hang on. I'm like I'm like looking at these potato chips. I'm looking at <laughs> No, I'm not gonna finish my thought. No, people gonna think I'm a freak. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm I, I, I'll just cash you out, good sir. Say it. I was just thinking, chat, because someone said vinegar, like salt and vinegar, like because I like vinegar, like potato chips. I do. I don't have vinegar. What I do have is balsamic, the really good balsamic I had imported from Italy. So I was thinking right now, in my brain, I was like, I could reach over to the bottle right now, grab it, and try it with a kettle chip. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. I've uncorked it. <laughs> What happens now is between us and God, chat. What happens now is between us and God. Oh. 
Okay, it's actually pretty good. Wait, yo, wait! I have to get these chips out of here. I'm putting them over there. Yo, that, it was actually good. Although it's like, you wouldn't do that ever because like the chips would, like it's like a wet, like it's not gonna like be absorbed by the chip. But for, like I ate it really quickly and it was good. Oh. Okay, fuck off. Jesus fucking Christ, he's got pregnant brain. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I just... <laughs> I just, I've just been having fun trying out stuff with this really good balsamic because it's like, dude, I'll tell you what, tried it with vanilla ice cream a while back when it showed up. It was fucking amazing. Like amazing. Stop. No, literally. It's like a thing. No chat. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. If you don't get it, you don't get it and you're an idiot. Like, uh, you have to, you have to actually, like, look it up. It was actually really good. It's a thing. But I'm telling you now, if you try it with, like, balsamic vinegar from, like, a fucking supermarket, you're gonna throw up. You're gonna, like, you're gonna vom everywhere, you're gonna have the worst day of your life. <laughs> why don't you guys why don't you guys fucking trust me can't you can't you fucking see you're pushing me away can't you freaking see you're pushing me <clears throat> pushing me away Oh, work's done. Longest shift of my fucking life. Damn, I didn't want to go out tonight. Soda, bleach, onions. Dude, I'm getting faster every day. I'd watch more tomato streams if he ate more chips on stream. Unless I don't think that's going to be happening. Matter of fact, I'm never eating another chip on stream. Didn't mean to do that. You have a good day, sir. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was looking around for thieves. Chad, there's 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 some, there's some fucked up shit going on around here. That's that sleep fucked you up, man. Who are you? One bad nap off of your REM cycle, and you just go. Oh, it's time to close. No lady came in whose fate I decided and dictated. Okay. Talk to Daniel in the park or go home. I don't know if I want to talk to Daniel.
Do I really want to talk to Daniel? He's a loser? Yeah, but he's like not, I don't think he's a bad guy. Plus it's like a, wait, 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 what's this? Oh, some bottle. Just on the swings, huh? Um, thanks for coming. Before it worked, there was a girl named Fatima. She was my best friend and she was kidnapped. That must have been hard for you. Well, um, what I mean, I want to find Fatima. She was kidnapped by a criminal organization from Terminal 81. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be great to find them. I think I know where those criminals are. I think I know where Fatima might be. And tonight I'm going there. I'm going to face them. I'm going to save Fatima. Have you thought about calling the police? Uh, are you sure? Good luck. Do you really think I should do it? Well, I just need to hear that. I'm going to do it. I've already decided. Thank you very much, Lorena. Okay, Daniel. Good luck. Thanks for listening, Lorena. I'm going to go save <laughs> my best friend co-worker. Good for you, Daniel. And if you need me, I'll be at the carnival. Mm-hmm. God, I love this place. Your finest ring toss. Good, sir. Yes. Hell, 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 yes. One hundred. Damn, that guy looks sad. Oh, he's back to normal. Three hundred. I just want a quick fifteen dollars. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. What happened to tomato today? What the fuck does that mean? What up? Not my streamer. He changed. Oh yeah? Old Tomato would walk down this alleyway too. He wouldn't even think about it. Scamper right down this abandoned alleyway knowing there's psychos. Yeah, but it would be, f but he would be funny while he did it. Okay. I'm going home. Here we are, back in the, back in the old apartment again. Hang on, uh, I'm gonna leave this pizza here. <laughs> oh, nice. I left it half chewed so I could finish the rest of it now. Maybe I should preach you all of this. Stop. Good. Stop. Good. Stop. Good. And again. Do you listen? Can you hear at one point when the chewing sound effect has an error sound? Listen to this. Mm -mm. Do you hear that? Mm -mm. Bro, I got all these pre chewed pizzas here. It's a party, bro. Holy crap. Fuck yes, man. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna be there for work so freaking fast. 
And we get to keep the box. All right, let's go to sleep. Hang on, let me also just go ahead and buy myself a new uh, dining set. Hell yes. I think that works even better. Hell yes. Hell yes. Save. I'm going to sleep. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's go. I hope Daniel's all right. There's no one outside anymore. I'm not going over there, but I can't believe you waited this whole time. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, yeah, can I get, um... Can I get a brewski? Thanks. Pre-drink that. Put the rest in back in for later. Hell yes. Hang on, what's this over here? Okay. What is this place? I'm, a, I'm afraid to talk to people because they've always acted like most people say something heinous to me when I talk to them in this game. Hello. Finally, I am no longer a virgin. Okay. Not the worst I've heard so far. Bro! Hell yes. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that my boss? Boss, good to see you. <sighs> hey, Lorena, I need to talk to you, but wait a second. Okay. Product running on shelves, garbage bags, posters. Okay. Garbage first. Posters. The product one's annoying because you just have to look for the blue circle. While this is in my hands. There it is. Am I fired? I'm not fired. That'd be the biggest mistake they ever made because I'd... I'd well, I'd go... I'd go... I'd go berserk. I'd go primal if I got fired. Is he... What, what's he doing? Wait. 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 Wait, I don't want to be fired! Wait! 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 Get him hit by a car. Fuck. Get him on the next one. Fuck up! Stop! He's going to find out about my second job working at the carnival. Dude, fuck this. I'm going... <laughs> fuck this. I'm going back to work. Nice. I have time to fit a couple games in before he catches me. If he's going to fire me, what do I fucking care? I don't have to work today. I still have to be right. I don't care. 
One disc game, please. One ring toss. If you would be so kind. I can fit a couple in. Hell yes. Fuck. Fuck. Got it. Huge money. It's not what it looks like. Hey, Lorena, have you been talking to an Asian man who claims to be a journalist? No. That man is not a journalist or anything. He's been harassing the business. He's suspicious. Stay away from him. I thought you were going to fire me. Okay. Okay, I'm glad you understand. If you see him near the store or anything, call me or the police. So I have a job still? Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go back to work. Thanks. Hey, have a good day, man. You look a lot like my friend Daniel who got killed by the uh, mafia or something. Hmm. He's not really my friend. Someone, I just got a page on my phone that someone stole from the store. I don't know why they have my fucking phone number for this shit. It's actually, it's actually wild that only one person has stolen something in this whole time. Think about that. What are the odds? I, I assume the pl What the fuck is going on? Now this picture right here is something. Hell yes. Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's burn some calories. Hey, you work at the supermarket? I accidentally threw my ball into that abandoned church behind the supermarket. No, 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 you didn't, I did. <laughs> this dude gaslit himself. No, 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 no. You didn't throw your ball back there, I did. Doofus. Too bad. Yeah, well, I was hoping you'd help me get it back if you're available. Please tell me. Dude, I don't think it would matter. I think your I think your entire uh, the field's been taken by a by a, like aerobic dance exercise. Goodbye. I gotta get back to work. I'm actually surprised only one person stole shit from the store. The line has to be gigantic. Fuck off! Oh! What the fuck? How, how did you... Hey, my beautiful Lorena, you left me waiting for you at the club! Don't you want to release... Don't you want to release Terminal 81? What? We're organizing something big. We know what happened to the girls. We know where Fatima is. Come to the nightclub and we'll talk. No. I don't think I will be. Ah! Huh. What is this? 
This is the racist girl. I didn't want to talk to the ma'am. Get out of here. Ma'am, get the fuck away from me. Holy shit. Get away from me. That lady's crazy. She needs to get into aerobic dancing and help her loosen up. I am baffled that no one has stolen from my store. It's been my shift this whole time today, chat. I'm I'm really not playing around. Hey, I got a book to hand in. And also, I'd like to buy a... Actually, no, I don't want to buy anything. Maybe the area is unloaded or some shit? Yeah, maybe. It seems like everyone left. Chat. If I get paid for this job today, this, uh, this is the new meta. Mother of God. No one even stole, they were just tired of waiting. $40 for doing nothing. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh! Wait! Ow! Oh, Daniel's dead. Oh, I'm dead. Whoops! Oh, wait, I'm alive. Fine. Guys, what, what? It was that man again. Oh, Daniel. So either I can go to the police or I can go home. Or I could go to the carnival and work off the stress by playing some cool games. Don't. I could, though. Good though. Just some relaxing video games. That's right, I do have pre chewed pizza at home. Really made that guy mad right there. It was fun. I feel like I, I feel like the, I should tell the police about this. I don't even remember where the fucking police station is. I guess it's over here. Long live the fucking youth! Okay. Alright, old man. I see that the youth don't let you in the, uh, club. Okay. Whatever you say, Peepaw. Whatever you say. Time to dance off the grief of Daniel's demise. Okay, so your co-worker Daniel got out of a locker dead. Yeah, he climbed out of it dead. I saw his killer. Sure, we'll get to that in a moment. When was the last time you talked to Daniel? Uh, at the park. In the park? Very good. Let's help us draw a timeline. One important thing. Were you attacked by a man? Are you sure the man was Daniel's murderer? I don't know. Seems like weird timing. Perfect. That man didn't look like someone you know. Doesn't he remind you of anyone? I don't know. I haven't seen him before. I see. If you remember something, don't hesitate to tell us. It's very important. One last thing. How long have you been in Terminal 81? Uh, less than a week. I see. That means you got the job at the supermarket before you came here, right? Yeah. Perfect. Next, we'll do some questionnaires for her, and then we'll take her to her house. Please remain see The dialogue broke down right there pretty hard. Home sweet home. 
God, I'm so tired after such a fucking long day of Daniel being killed. Thank God I already pre-chewed this pizza. Oh, just slurp it down. I, w I don't even need teeth for it anymore. <laughs> Going to sleep. Hell of a day. Another hell of a day. It's raining. Dang. Maybe I should buy a pizza. Oh, you know what I should buy? Bolt cutters. Or pliers. Pliers? I saw a bunch of stuff like chained up. I wonder if the pliers as far as this game con is concerned, count as bolt cutters. Like, I, I just got like a hunch that this game is crusty enough that it might just like let me do it. I want to get into the church and I want to see if I can open the church door. Give me a sec. God damn, my asthma, my horrible asthma. I'm getting so fired. No, I'm not. Dude, I've done everything right. I mean, if there's a psycho murderer in this church, well, I'm going to find out. What are you doing here, young lady? What are you doing here? I always come here. I used to visit this church with my wife many years ago. I'm so sorry. She died two years ago in a traffic accident near here. You don't know how devastating it was for me. That's terrible. That's right. One day I couldn't take it anymore, so I fucking committed suicide by throwing myself out of that hole in the ceiling. It hurt, but it ended my suffering. Oh, bye. What the fuck? crazy it's wild that there's a book on philosophy up here and twenty dollars yeah you, 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 people don't die from falling it's not even possible so I don't know what the fuck that guy was talking about Also, that kid's, uh, bolt isn't anywhere. Oh, wait. Dude, so I really am socially hacking this guy right now. This kid, uh, told me to go find his ball. I found it. I'm gonna bring it back to him, and I'm gonna pretend that I, uh, found it, and they're gonna pay me. This is a social hack. Just give me one sec. I'm a hero. You're welcome, kid. You're welcome. Pay. Oh, they're gonna pay me. I'm gonna huck the ball into oncoming fucking traffic and pop it. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? Kid pays me for it or I keep it. I think I, I think by getting rid of the ball, this became the new normal. Go get it back. They'll pay me. Okay, I'll do it. Fantastic, thank you. Okay. I got it. This isn't the right ball. All right, I'm out of here. You have a good life.
Really big fan of dancing. Really big fan. Bye. And in this last book. And I'm gonna ask that fortune teller if I'm gonna die today. Twenty-five more dollars. I get paid more for doing this shit than I do my actual job. Why the hell would I need a shovel? Can't believe Daniel's fucking dead. I can't believe Daniel got serial killed hard. It's fucked. It really is. I can't believe I'm really about to go into work today and then not do my job at all. All right. I'm gonna make more money by going to the disc, the disc throw con carnival game and just play that. So why would I, why would I hang out there anymore? Fired POV. I'm a full-time carnival worker now, okay? Oh, the last philosophy book. Oh, $10. Well, chat, we just um, made more money than I would have made for the entire the entire day of working there, even if I did everything perfect. If I buy a shovel, I could dig this up, dude. Maybe I also get into treasure hunting. Hang on, now we know what the shovel's for. It's all coming together. Everything's starting to add up. I'm gonna hand in this book. It's all coming together, don't you see? We're missing out on the rich interaction with customers though. Yeah, like that time they say the money's just never enough or this costs more than I remember. Over and over and over and over again. Over and over and over and over and over. It's enough to drive anyone crazy, don't you understand? You understand. It's enough to make anyone go <laughs> Yeah, whatever. You go ahead and steal from the store. I don't work there anymore. Hey, I got a book for you. Here. That's the last of the books, right? May I? Maybe there are more. Okay. Well, I'm gonna buy the last two tools. I've I've quiet quit. Yes. Shovel. Thank you. Thank you. That's a, that's a trowel. Good evening, is your boss here? I'm not at work, I actually quit. Uh, no, he he's not here. Do you happen to know where we can find it? It, you mean him? No, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know anything about him. We have to ask you some questions. We'd appreciate any information you can give us. Uh, are you gonna arrest him? We just wanna talk to him, don't worry. If you find out anything, don't hesitate to tell us. Okay, bye. Anyways. Uh, I can't interact with anything now. My UI's broken. Good sir. Good sir, I paid money for that shovel. Those cops fucked me. They glitched me. This can't be happening to me. I did everything by the books! Give me that now! I bought a shovel I wanted to dig up trash. Just reset? You didn't even do any work. That's unfair. I, I'll have you know I tried very hard. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey. Maybe if I like interact with something in here it'll fix itself? Maybe. No, I'm broken. <laughs> Bro, why, dude? Goddamn coppers. Broke my damn hands when I refused to give them information on my employer. Now I'm just out here on the streets like everyone else. Yo, how long have we had freaking hogs over here? What the hell? Hell yes. Hell yes. 
Yeah. There's so many parts of this place that I never even knew. No one calls them hogs. I do. Me. I call them hogs. Chat can't even open doors to go talk to people anymore. I'm fucked. It's over. There's only one thing left to do now. There's only one thing I can do. When the going gets tough, there's only one thing left for me now. Get deeply, deeply, deeply invested in aerobic dance. Forever. Oh shit! Pizza! Not like I could eat it anymore, what with no hands. But no matter what the world takes from me, there's one thing it can't take. Dance. Dance! This game was weird. I'm not, I'm not resetting. I'm not resetting because I'm done. And I'll be back tomorrow with another stream. Anyways, chat. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for getting yourself some donations, bits. I'll be back at the usual time. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Not sure what I'm going to do. But, uh, there will be a stream tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for coming by. Laters.